Hi, Frank Spangler here for Learning Media Skills, and in today's lesson we're going to take a look at how you can edit inside a custom aspect ratio uh, while editing in Edius Pro. So let's get started. Start a new project. Choosing a preset that's close to what you want to work with. Let's select that. Here's an HD preset, but let's hit the custom box and hit OK. Let's open up Advanced and Frame Size. Let's open that and go down to the very bottom of that drop-down menu. Hit the Custom key. And leaving the width uh, at 1920, let's change the height. And if we wanted to make it uh, true theater aspect ratio, we'd want to type in something like 803 here. And in the aspect ratio, we need to change this to an aspect ratio of uh, 1 to 1. And over here in our render format, let's change this to uh, Grass Valley HQX fine. And then I think that we are good to go. Just make sure that all of the other settings match the type of footage that you're going to be working with. If it's 8-bit or 10-bit. I think I'm pretty happy with those settings. Let's hit OK. And we've got our nice wide aspect ratio showing up here. Let's bring in some footage. Just grab a bunch of clips here at random and drop a few clips on. Now, when we drop on our standard video clip, this is a 4K clip coming from a Canon 5D Mark IV, and you drop it into this aspect ratio, it's going to look as though it has the black bars on the left and the right side of the frame. So what we have to do is go into our Layouter tool, and you can find it down here in your Information Palette, or just hit F7. First we have to have the clip selected, and hit F7. And uh, let's change this percentage down to 25%. And now just by dragging any of these corners, we can stretch that out to fill our frame and now that gives us a nice wide aspect ratio. And if you need to adjust it so it's a more pleasing framing, you can just grab the clip and move it up and down. That's a little better. Hit OK. And uh, now we've got a nice little video at a very cinematic, theatrical aspect ratio. And you can edit your whole project that way. And what I would do is uh, make a preset out of this setting. Go to our Layouter tool, right-click, and save as a current user preset. And it will show up in whatever folder we have had open there in our effects palette. And uh, let's just give it a name here that we'll remember. And we could say something like um, Cine Aspect. All right, so now when we go after more clips for our project, so our next clip uh, showing up again, it's not in the right aspect ratio. So rather than click on our layouter tool for every clip that we want in our project, we can take advantage of this preset and just drag and drop it onto our clip. And so then very quickly we have the, it uh, filling our screen. If we need to reposition it again, just with that click, selected, hit the F7 key, and just bring it down a little bit, and hit OK. Now, it's not necessary that you stick to any particular aspect ratio. This uh, theatrical aspect ratio may, in fact, be a little extreme for a lot of the footage that you shot. If when you shot the footage or someone else was your camera person, they weren't intending for you to edit this in this aspect ratio, they may have framed a lot of their shots in such a way that it's not going to look good when it's placed into this aspect ratio. Like for example, let's drop on this clip here. We see that it was framed in such a way that to get all of the action and all of the heads in the shot pretty much needs to be in an aspect ratio that is not quite as wide. And uh, so it may be depending on how your footage was shot, you may have to reduce the width of your aspect ratio when you start your project. So when you're doing your settings, rather than make it 1920 by 803, you might make it 1920 by 900 or 950, so that the width is not so extreme. 
uh, depending on the footage that you're working with. Let's maybe see what it what looks like for the interview. Let's drop on our effect, the cine aspect, and we're going to have to go into our layouter here and drag this down, but it still works. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, on some of the main internet outlets, uh, I uploaded a little section of the video to YouTube, and here's what it looks like. Now the advantage, of course, of doing it this way is that you are not actually encoding the black bars on the top and the bottom if you were using a mask or some type of PNG file to put a letterbox around your video. All of your bitrate resources are going into just the actual video itself. Plus, if people are watching it in a lower resolution, um, like say 240 or 360, can make these black bars look quite bad with a lot of noise, pixelation, and your audience is going to wonder, well, why, why is that black bar look so bad? But doing it this way, the black bars aren't there, but you still have your nice aspect ratio. So there you have it, how to edit in a custom aspect ratio inside Edius Pro. My name is Frank Spangler. This is Learning Media Skills. If you found this video helpful, uh, go ahead and hit the like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We'll catch you down the road.